and Rebecca with the Nocturnal. How are you? Hey, how are you, Rebecca? You know, I'm talking to you. Today's a great day. Oh, stop it. My day's better because I see you. Ah, you see? Look oh, at this. Stop. Stop. <laughs> yes. So my first question is, what about season two are you most excited for fans to see? Uh, what am I excited about? I don't know. I, you know, I, I wish... It's funny, like being a part of a project, uh, you, you want, man, I wish, I could, I really wish I could see a show without the history of me working on it and just be like, just see it as a piece of art and really just be like, what is this thing? You know, you, we don't get that. Um, what am I excited? I don't know. Did you see it? Did you watch it? Yes, I liked it. <laughs> okay. I think, uh, yeah, I, I think it's a, Again, all I can take from the the shooting it is that I had a great group of people to work with every day, and I enjoyed showing up and spending time with these people and creating and just playing. Like that's my favorite stuff. I have good friends now from it, so I feel blessed. You know? That's amazing. And in, yeah. this, in this upcoming season, what about your character? Do you think is going to be more different or even surprising for viewers? <laughs> um different uh i think i went into season two uh trying to keep the forefront uh with byron that he's trying to become better as a man um which i think you know many people do like they get in a relationship and it, it can start falling apart and you're you want to save it and like let the other person be their their own being and I think it's him looking into the mirror and really trying to understand himself better and become just a better partner. Um, that was like the, the lead, the impetus, impetus, is that the right word for it, for, for this season and the direction of the character. I see that. I definitely think that from season one and as we progress to season two, there's a shift in the demeanor and even his actions towards her. Yeah, yeah. There definitely is. There's no, actually, I kept uh, using the phrase letting go, letting go of his need or his um, want for his own. How successful do you think the Made for Love chip would be in the real world? I think we have it. I mean, social media is already there. And so you can follow anyone. You could you can tap into anything anyone's doing at any point now. I think we're there, okay. to tell you the truth. It's just not in yet. <laughs> it might be. I mean, there probably there probably already is people with implants and all that crap. I know dogs have it, so hey, who knows? Maybe it might be for humans real soon. The way uh, things are going, I could see it happening. Oh, I know it's so scary. It's so <laughs> scary. And my last few questions. Um, yeah, in one, the relationship between Hazel and your character was rocky to say the least. But in season two, your character remains hopeful. So as the season progresses, do you think there things in their relationship may get better or is it completely broken? Um, do you, have you ever been in a relationship where you feel it's falling apart and mm -hmm. would you make an effort to save it if you didn't think there was hope? Mm -hmm. um, no, that's a serious question. I, I feel like, yes, there's times where you, you know, when you're hopeful, you just try and grasp onto the remaining aspects of that relationship. Yeah. So I don't know. Someone gave me a quote once that you never go back to a burnt fuse because mm -hmm. it might blow up on you. If it didn't go off, don't go back. Mm, true, true. Okay. That, that's a definitely a good quote. Something I need really? to keep in my pocket. <laughs> it's not mine, so I took it from someone else. Sharing is caring. <laughs> Sharing is caring. It really is. It really is. I hope. I hope they get together. I don't know what's going to happen. If you were presented with the opportunity to be a part of an experiment like the one in the show, would you take part in it? No. Not at all. No. I have no interest. Okay. Why? Um. I think. Uh, I think. I don't know. I, any like those studies or anything like that I, if I was fascinated by something I would want to be doing the experiment or something but no I think there's so much out there in the world that we could still explore I, I don't know I, that's not a good answer but no no it's a great answer 
whatever your take is, I take. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't want to be in a lab. No, I'm good. And I guess my last question for real for real this time. Let's is, go. Whatever you want. Keep talking. Okay. What three words would you use to describe the show? What the fuck? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. That was so bad. No. Well, how would I describe this show? Um, plastic sex doll. <laughs> there was a lot of them in the show. <laughs> That's it? That's the only words you use? <laughs> funny, great. I don't know. But I don't know. I would definitely I say know. funny, great, and I would use the word hope as well. Hope. Oh, yummy. 